Welcome back to Let's Play Alien. Isolation, Burning Dog fans. Oh boy. Shit's getting real. I noticed that uh, in addition to it putting this text log here in the archive logs, uh, oops, there's a section actually labeled Nostromo Log, so, you know, there's that. Huh. I was just wondering if all the emails I'd read have been stored in here. What am I doing? Oh, that's right, trying to put off playing the game. I didn't accomplish anything. Oh, there's the elevator. No? No. It's got to be in here. Mommy. <gasps> oh, fuck this. there. Okay. Okay. Where am I going? Down here, maybe? E no. I have to retrace my steps. The elevator uh, to, that I need to hack is the one that I already found.
remember to breathe. Here's a question, Burning Dog fans. Can they breathe in space? First two movies both end with the most dangerous alien being shot into space. Only only one of the first movie, and uh, the Queen, the second one. Not a good. No, wait, it doesn't have any fucking eyes. Speakers. Well, that had, like lured it away from the elevator. Again, the sense of relief when you know it's going to kill you. This is a weird game. Oh. Stop getting that out. Since I know that it actually does have a uh, cutscene in this area, a non harmful device which detonates on impact, stunning nearby humans and blinding humans and synthetics looking at the detonation as a modified proxim. Oh, so it's a period there. And blinding humans and synthetics looking at the detonation. As a modified proximity device, it can be placed as a trap that will trigger when enemies are near. I notice it doesn't say anything about the alien. Come to think of it. One of those, uh, beginner tips was always craft and you are able. so that you can carry as much stuff as possible. Can I just choose not to have anything out? Not hit the control just yet. Listen for doors opening and stuff like that. Waits. This is Chief Porter and Tech Support. Look, there's nothing on this flight recorder, Waits. We 
broken God knows how many courts of confidentiality agreed to come up with Zip. Nothing except the Wayland Utani logo and an empty readout. Now these things are built to last. So even someone on board the Nostromo asked its mother court to wipe it clean. Or somehow the data's been corrupted before it got here. Care to fill me in on why this was a priority job? Do you see the the way the subtitles are written there? They put the quotes around the Nostromo. Uh, the very beginning of Alien, it brings up the vital statistics for the ship. And it says, commercial freighter, and then in quotes, the Nostromo. I only remember that because it struck me as weird that they include the word the in the uh, in the thing. Item tool, weapon. If I just crafted the flashbangs, of course I have the blueprints, you idiot. Get that the first time? That was another tip. Shave Saint. Shave. Save shamelessly. Like, they save the game on the list literally five times. Just because this game has no auto-saving. Yeah, I got through Dead Space 1 and 2 just fine. See there under the hall. these uh, files. Done. Oh, wait, that starts at 21. Oh. Dead soldiers. What does that symbol mean?
Oh, it has a code number in it. That's really nice that they would mark that for us. Let's not walk under that. So here's, yes, then I'm going to open this. And we're going to take a stroll. Oh, we can't. I was going to go back there and get the uh, the map thing that I missed on the way in. Well, that sucks. I guess I'll just save the game anyway. Of course the dead guy in there had uh, the hole in his forehead. There was the other holes in his body so I wasn't pleased with. Maybe he was very lucky and it was desecrating his body after he died. Oh, here's a fun fact. The, uh, the face huggers aren't just making you a, uh, an incubator for the egg. They, uh, no, let's look at this because it's more visually interesting. They... Well, they implant the egg or the embryo or, or whatever it, form it takes into your body. And as it grows, it absorbs your DNA. Mixes it with the, uh, the xenomorph base code. In order to uh, adapt itself to the environment it's going to find itself in. Which is why, you know, you put a face hugger on a human and it... Uh, the, the chest burster pops out as a bipedal creature that breathes oxygen, at least as far as I know. You know, in Alien 3, they, uh... There's a... An alien that pops out of a dog, and it comes out in a quadrupedal form, with, you know, walking on four all four legs, if you're not familiar with that term. You know, so it's fast, but it has no manual dexterity. Oh, and then, uh... A recurring thing in Alien vs. Predator media is the idea of a Pred-Alien, which is, of course, an alien that was incubated from a Predator. So they have, uh... So they have the, the dreadlocks hanging off the backs of their heads and uh, the four-part mandibles in front of their mouths. Oh, fuck me. The timer's about to go. Unfortunately, the only movie uh, with a pred alien in it is, uh, I can't remember the name of the terrible sequel, Alien vs. Predator Requiem, which is generally regarded as absolute trash. Jumped up on the desk? Is that what that is?
think guy is going to get away with saving the game. Two cards. Okay, fuck this. Fuck this sideways. Okay, got up to the point where I died last time. I just need to open the door, go through, and, you know, be murdered. So, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Alien Isolation. And I try to make more progress. Without having my face eaten. Later!